नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एन लाइक्चरिंग एक्स थर्टी एंड एक्स थर्टी वन ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव द कॉज ऑफ वन कॉजेस ऑफ सेकंड टैट ऑफ द वास्तविक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम एक्स थर्टी वैकारी कान मनो जज्ने देवा वैकारिका दश दिग्वा तारक प्रचेतो अश्वी वह निन द्रोपेंद्र मित्र काह फ्रॉम द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस द माइंड इज जनरेटेड एंड बिकम्स मैनिफेस्ट एज ऑल्सो द टेन डेमिगॉड्स कंट्रोलिंग द बॉडी मूवमेंट्स सर डेमिगॉड्स आर नोन एज द कंट्रोलर ऑफ डायरेक्शन द कंट्रोलर ऑफ एयर द सन गॉड द फादर ऑफ दक्ष प्रजापति द अश्विनी कुमार द फायर गॉड द किंग ऑफ हेवन द वर्शिपेबल डी इन हेवन द चीफ ऑफ द आदित्यास एंड ब्रह्मा जी द प्रजापति ऑल कम इन टू एक्सिस्टेंस Vaikarika is the neutral stage of creation and Tejas is the initiative of creation while Tamas is the full display of material creation under the spell of the darkness of ignorance manufacture of the necessities of life in factories and workshops excessively prominent in the age of kali or in the age of the machine is the summit stage of the quality of darkness such manufacturing enterprises by human society are in the mode of darkness because factory there is no necessity for the commodities manufactured Human society primarily requires food for subsistence, shelter for sleeping, defense for protection, and commodities for satisfaction of the senses. The senses are the practical signs of life, as will be explained in the next verse. Human civilization is meant for purifying the senses, and objects of sense satisfaction should be supplied as much as absolutely required, but not for aggravating artificial sensory needs. Food, shelter, defense, and sense gratification are all needs in material existence. Otherwise, in his pure, uncontaminated state. of original life the living entity has no such needs the needs are therefore artificial and in the pure state of life there are no such needs as such increasing the artificial needs as in the standard of material civilization or advancing the economic development of human society is a sort of engagement in darkness without knowledge by such engagement human energy is spoiled because human energy is primarily meant for purifying the senses in order to engage them in satisfying the senses of the supreme lord the supreme lord being the supreme possessor of spiritual senses is the master of the senses rishikesh rishika means the senses and isha means the master the lord is not the servant of the senses or in other words he is not directed by the dictation of the senses but the conditioned souls or in the individual living entities are servants of the senses they are conducted by the direction or dictation of the senses and therefore material civilization is a kind of engagement in sense gratification only The standard of human civilization should be to cure the disease of sense gratification, and one can do this simply by becoming an agent for satisfying the spiritual senses of the Lord. The senses are never to be stopped in their engagements, but one should purify them by engaging them in the pure service of sense gratification of the Master of the senses. This is the instruction of the whole Bhagavad Gita. Arjun wanted first of all to satisfy his own senses by his decision not to fight with his kinsmen and friends, but Lord Sri Krishna taught him the Bhagavad Gita just to purify Arjun's decision for sense gratification. Therefore, Arjun agreed to satisfy the senses of the Lord, and thus he fought the battle of Guru Kshetra as the Lord desired. The Vedas instruct us to get out of the existence of darkness and go forward on the path of light. Tamai sma jyotir gama. The path of light is therefore to satisfy the senses of the Lord. Misguided men or less intelligent men follow the path of self-realization without any attempt to satisfy the transcendental senses of the Lord by following the path shown by Arjun and other devotees of the Lord. On the contrary, they artificially try to stop the activities of the senses, the yoga system, or they deny the transcendental senses of the Lord, the yoga system. The devotees, however, are above. The yogis and the jnanis, because pure devotees do not deny the senses of the Lord, they want to satisfy the senses of the Lord. Only because of the darkness of ignorance do the yogis and jnanis deny the senses of the Lord, and thus artificially try to control the activities of the diseased senses. In the diseased condition of the senses, there is too much engagement of the senses in increasing material needs. When one comes to see the disadvantage of aggravating the sense activities one is called a jnani and when one tries to stop the activities of the senses by the practice of yogic principles he is called a yogi but when one is actually aware of the transcendental senses of the lord and tries to satisfy his senses one is called a devotee of the lord the devotees of the lord do not try to deny the senses of the lord nor do they artificially try to stop the actions of the senses but they do voluntarily engage the purified senses in the service of the master of the senses as was done by arjun thereby easily attaining the purification of satisfying the lord the ultimate goal of all perfection x31 tai jasat tu vikur varna dinadriyani 
दशा भवन ज्ञान शक्ति हो क्रिया शक्ति बुद्धि हो प्राण शच तैज सब श्रोत्र By further transformation of the mode of flesh in the sense organs like the ear, skin, nose, eyes, tongue, mouth, hands, genitals, legs, and the outlet for evacuating, together with intelligence and living energy, are all generated. The living condition and material existence depends more or less on one's intelligence and powerful living energy. Intelligence to counteract the hard struggle for existence is assisted by the senses for acquiring knowledge, and the living energy maintains itself by manipulating the active organs like the hands and legs. But on the whole, the struggle for existence is an exertion of the mode of action. Therefore, all the sense organs headed by intelligence and the living energy plant are different products and byproducts of the second mode of nature called passion. This mode of passion, however, is the product of the air element as described before. Hari Krishna. 